Okay, Dave Schopius here, back in the robot lab, doing a little problem solving. I'm uh, working on my robot's arms. Actually, I just about have them done now. I was mounting them up, and I realized, um, I, 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 well, I knew, but I have Wilhoff's beautiful arms here. His, not his arms, but the robot arms that he makes. They make a rubber, silicone rubber, last 100 years. Um, once I got it all on there, I had the band on like this you know there's I'll have a band on there then I went and tucked this in here I hit a heck of a slope in there too and what happens is when the arm retracts it gets caught down here and it bunches up so I did two things uh, first um, I had uh, to get some support rings inside and they're merely um, some of these plastic rubber rings here you can see and they, they fit inside the, the uh, bellows the top of the bellows and they give it a really nice shape and all it, like I said all it is is just a, a little plastic ring that I made up with uh, this is two millimeter plastic you could use also use um, like vinyl covered uh, stainless steel uh, rope I guess they call it uh, they use it for hanging, stringing lights outside, um, exterior lights. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's the same size as this, different sizes you can get. But anyway, so that, that holds it nice and firm, but it was still hitting down here. So what did I do? So let me tell you, what I did here is, is here's the other arm. And I just about got it done here. And you can see how nicely it lays and it doesn't... It doesn't droop in the center so what I did is is if I can open this up without tearing these nice arms is you can see pull back uh, there's a rod in there but the deal is the rod has got to slide in and out with the arm mechanism so I attached it on one side securely and permanently with some stuff I got through um, Servo City. They've got some awesome stuff. So I put in that little bracket right there, tied it in, and there's some clamps uh, that's holding this rod. This is 8 millimeter rod. Um, it's, it's machined for use in uh, like laser printers and stuff like that. So that's all clamped in there and holding that rod and it goes through the arm to the other side and uh, this is a linear bearing I also got it from Servo City and um, some brackets to hold it and it's mounted right to the top of the X-rail here um, actually it's, it's mounted to this thing right here that I cut down and made up with some just some bolts going through there and uh, some some brackets so anyway the idea is when that arm retracts in the it'll it'll slide on this ball bearing here all the way in and hold this up so it'll it'll compress properly and it this end will end up way back here so anyway it, it looks pretty good so I'm gonna get this these mounted now and uh, give you a, a demonstration hopefully of how this all works Stay tuned, more to come. Okay, here are the arms installed. And you can see that um, the little rubber, or those little wire or plastic arm rings inside these bellows are holding them nice, nice and round. So they're not slooping or slopping around. Um, so, and here's the other arm that I have extended. And you can also see that the uh, arm it really isn't sagging a oh, lot. That, that support I have in there is really doing a good job. So uh, I don't have the band on here. Let's just pull it back just a little bit, and you can see how that that would work. Okay. So wish I could take off the skin and show you, but um, I don't want to risk cutting this or, or damaging this and it's a little difficult I got to take this whole front off to do it so we're not going to do that you can use your imagination so anyway um, there it is let me step away for a second and I will put the armband back on 
and uh, then we'll give you a little demonstration in and out, okay? Hold on, be right back, don't go nowhere. Alrighty, I'm back. I've got the armband back on, and I've got it on over there too, everything's ready to go. And uh, again, you can see how nicely this is supported through here, and it's not really sagging down, and the art, those little wire arm rings are keeping the form really, really nice, especially when it starts to compress. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is you'll notice as it comes in later on, I'll point it out, there's a little gap in here and it's, it's rubbing right on that front tower right here where it's attached. So I'm going to have to get something in there to like act as a little bonnet inside so it'll just kind of slide over it better. I don't know what I'm going to use. Maybe something as easy as a tennis ball, a small tennis ball or something that I can cut down. So we'll just move over. Who knows? Uh, we'll figure that out in another day. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm uh, going to show you the arms coming in and out really quick. Um, I'm using Arc Control Software by Centium, and it's controlling through Wi-Fi over to the over to the uh, control module inside which are easy bees uh, from easy robot okay so now what's going to do is i'm going to turn on a startup routine that's going to um home everything and get everything in the proper positions so you'll see him turning around and the arm sucking in and uh everything's centering up. I mean, you'll even see the, the claws maybe move a little bit because now I don't have them out of center. So let's, let's do this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, and the arm is moving in. Let's hope it moves in before it hits the wall here. <laughs> Okay, it retracted real nice. See how nicely it sucks in? There's a little bit of a bellowing problem back here, but that's just cosmetic. Because there's no rings back here. It's just the rings start like right here. So let me um, show you this a few things here. I'm going to have the robot move his arms out. They're both are going out now. You can see right there, <laughs> if I don't be careful, I'm going to rip that. I don't want to do that. So um, it bounced over there pretty nice, but it, it did cat, catch right there. I don't know if you saw that. So got to get that up off of that so it glides over it. So as long as this arm's out, let me show you another little cool thing that I got here. I, I've done a little bit of basic programming. Just for testing and I've got a little loop here for now these are Robert Rossi's um, claw kit this whole thing and I've got it controlled through with servo these servos in there are controlled through the arc software so let me find uh, the proper script I wrote and you'll watch the hopefully the claws and the wrist move there you go Claws open close and they, they turn and twist and the wrist move. And what I like is look at those rubber arms, they're not losing their shape or nothing. So yeah, nice stuff. Okay, well there you are. Um, I am going to stop this. Center up the claws again. Okay, that's the rest position. And I'll bring in the arms, both arms in. And there they go. Okay. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, happy building.